Thanks for staying on and watching Notepad. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sani. Today, the uh, conversation shall revolve around the hotels that you see around you, which is called Oyo. Oyo is one of the fast gro fastest growing uh, hotel chains around the world. And in Malaysia, they have over 10,000 beds, uh, ranging from all 13 uh, states in the country. So I'm here having a chat with uh, Tan Ming Luk, the country head of Oyo, uh, to try to understand better what this uh, hotel chain is all about and perhaps understand a little bit better on the business that runs and props up Oyo as a whole. Uh, Ming, thanks again for uh, sharing the time with us. Um, we appreciate your time, uh, you know, trying to make us understand a little bit better about this hotel chain. And, um, you know, from, a, from personal experience, I was uh, in Mersing just two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it wasn't by design, because I know this interview is going to happen, but it wasn't by design, but I stayed in one of the OU hotels there. And I'm surprised that there is an OU hotel somewhere, you know, in Mersing, just, uh, you know, just uh, before the ferry so that I can go to Tioman. Mm -hmm. What drives OU to have all these, you know, 10,000 beds in and around the country? What makes it work for you guys? Uh, firstly, thanks for ha uh, having me here today. Um, so for us, we don't discriminate, right? So every asset owner, uh, budget hotel is a potential customer for us. Uh, so basically, we, for us, we just grow the number of hotels across the 13 states. And we're actually right now, we're in like 40 over cities, right? Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 cities. Um, so for us, it's all about growth, right? And in any way, we can help our you know, asset owners to transform their property to provide the best uh, guest experience. Um, as long as we can add value, we sign it up. Okay, so let's let's take it down a few notches here. So you have you're, so you're running a franchise. You're running a franchise, correct? So I'm a, I'm a hotel owner somewhere in Mersing. Why would I want to partner with Oyo? So I think what we bring. Um, so what Oyo brings is basically a couple of stuff, right? A couple of uh, aspects here. One is our technology platform, right? So technology is part of our DNA. Basically, we use technology all the way across the whole hotel management spectrum, right? Uh, from how we, you know, onboard them. Um, so when we sign up a hotel, we will do some transformation uh, in terms of the infrastructure to make sure that comply to OYO standards, right? So basically, making sure they have hot water, they have air conditioning, uh, it's clean. So cleanliness is a couple of factors, right? It's making sure, uh, you know, if it's a dirty uh, pane, we'll touch it up. If there's any seepages we'll touch up the hotels. Um, and then once it's transformed, we basically list the property, right, on our app, also on, you know, all the online travel agents like booking.com or Goda. Uh, and then we help market it, right? So what we bring is that technology. We also help uh, train the staff, bring in operational efficiency. And most importantly, we help, you know, market them, right, using our pricing algorithm, uh, using our, you know, performance management uh, platform, right? And at the end of the day, what the hotel wants is increase in occupancy, and that leads to increase in revenue, right? Do you promise that to your partners? So we don't promise that, but since we, we've been in here uh, across these 10,000 rooms that we have, an average occupancy right now ranges around 65-70%. Is that like That's standard? High. That's high. That's high? That's quite high. That's quite high. Yeah, so I, you uh, see, uh, the budget hotel segment is very fragmented, okay. unlike the four and five stars, right? So there's a lot of competition there. And so I, I can't put a really figure to it, but mm -hmm. you know, before they join us, definitely it was below that, right? Okay. Hence, they continue to be with us. I mean, if you don't add value, then you obviously leave us, right? Do they, do they have a say in the pricing structure of uh, how you plan to price their rooms? So, uh, no, because we have a pricing algorithm which we built across five, uh, five over years, right? And that took data from across all the countries we operated, right? So our pricing algorithm makes sure that, you know, we sell the room at an affordable rate, uh, but not at a loss to the hotel. Mm. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what OYO means, actually. So OYO, uh, so it's the acronym, it means on your own. Mm. Uh, so how that came about is, you know, Ritesh, our founder, uh, you know, when he first started the business, right, uh, six years ago. When, where, where's his business founded again? Uh, in India, okay. India. So he backpacked, uh, stayed a couple of budget hotels, and he realized that, you know, in that segment, it's very difficult for you to book your own uh, hotels, right? They're, typically, they're not listed on any OTAs. They don't have any of their What's own. What's an OTA? 
uh, online, online travel, travel agents agency. like okay. agodabooking.com, right? Because they're fragmented, right? They don't have the skills to manage all the listings. They don't have their what own What is a app. skew? Skew, skew. Yeah. yeah. So, skill. Skill, oh, Okay, skills. got it. All right. Right. So, basically what it means is on your own, you empower the guests to book their own hotels anytime they want. Mm. So, that on your own mean. Okay. Right, uh, and so you, do you source for these hotels or these hotels volunteer to you guys? Like, like uh, how does it work? Good question. So majority is a resource. So we have a business development team that goes out, uh, you know, to explain our value proposition and sign them up. Must be very odd, right? I mean, like I'm a hotel owner and these people come, you people come, and then like, okay, I want to buy your hotel or something like that. Yeah. How, how does that? So uh, it must lead to some awkward conversations. Uh, no, I think at the end there is, I think we show the value proposition that we bring and then uh, bring them on board and they try and they see the value. And also word of mouth, right? Because when we first started, obviously it's all the business development team, right? Uh, but we have a lot of hotels that sign up with us through word of mouth as well. Because the budget industry is very small. Okay. Right. Let's, uh, let's go into the weeds right now and talk about sure. the kind of contracts that you strike with your partners. Mm -hmm. um, is it the right vocab to call them partners? Or yeah, asset owners and asset partners. Yeah. Asset owners and asset partners. So I have uh, you know, a budget hotel somewhere mm -hmm. in a tier two city somewhere, mm -hmm. I don't know, Kluang, whatever, mm -hmm. right? So you, you guys come and you know, these are the value prop that you, you, you say. Mm -hmm. And I have my own eyeballs. I've been looking around. Looks like Oyo has been doing okay. I'm mm -hmm. ready to sign on with you guys. Mm -hmm. Is it me selling the property to you guys, or how does that work? No. So it's uh, what right? Uh, how you mention it is actually a franchise model. So like how all franchisee works, mm. right? Is we will charge them a management fee. Right? Monthly or it's like one-off. Oh, this is monthly. It's a monthly thing, right? Uh, you keep. I mean, it works out the same thing. We charge them one time. It's still divided across the twelve months, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, basically, it's a percentage of whatever they earn. Yeah, are you comfortable sharing that percentage or you're not comfortable? Oh, we are, we are, right? I think it's, it's has, it has to be win-win, right? If they earn, then only we take the cut. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean is, are you willing to share in this interview on the percentage? Oh, part? no, we can't. Sorry, I can't right. share. Because uh, it varies as well across different assets. And that's my next question. Yes. So, so, of course, you don't have one flat, I yes. guess, cut Correct. Fa a fee. Correct. Um, what, what differentiates uh, you taking a bigger cut or a smaller cut over time? Uh, so I think it depends on uh, how much we invest in the hotel as well. Because like what I mentioned, right, we also provide transformation services, right? Yeah. Um, that must cost you a lot. I mean, it's not just one property, right? We're talking about, let me see, 23,000 buildings. Correct, correct. Well, but we all price that in, in the commercials that we sign, right? Okay, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do, we have our due diligence to make sure that we can earn back that money. Okay. And uh, see, um, not all hotels will need that transformation. Some are you know, the infrastructure is well run, well maintained. Mm. So then it's just called plug and play for us, right? You sign them up straight into our platform. Cool. Yeah. If things go south yeah. and, and you guys need to part your ways, yeah. how's the exit clause like? Is it, is it as simple as thanks and then there's a sh handshake? So off we you go. typically we try to work uh, with the asset owners to resolve any, you know, uh, any operational matters. Um, so it's, we will make sure that it's, uh, I mean, being with us, uh, they see the value in it, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. So you're saying that it's not often that people leave the OU network? Uh, I mean, like every business has a bit of churn, but yeah. it's, a, it's a very healthy one, very, very low. Okay. Yeah. Again, this number you can't share with us. Yeah, oh, we can't share with us. Yeah, right, sorry. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll discuss a little bit more with OU uh, and how they run their business, not just in Malaysia, but globally as well. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for staying on with us. I'm with Ming. He is the country manager of Oyo, the, uh, oh, I guess, hotel chains that you see in and around your cities. Uh, Ming, continuing our fur furthering our conversation, uh, we want to know a little bit more about uh, what makes uh, property inside your network do well and what doesn't. Is mm -hmm. it more of foot traffic? Is it more of visibility? Is it location? Mm -hmm. What what makes a property more, I guess, having a higher rate of occupancy versus one that doesn't? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, so location is, uh, we don't control location, obviously, right? Because we sign our hotel, yeah. it's in that particular location. Really. Yeah. So it's a combination of a uh, couple of um, 
things, right? One is obviously the, the tech solution that we bring, right? Um, so like I said, tech encompasses the whole uh, end to end of the hotel management, right? Mm. Um, so we provide them tech so they can run uh, the operations more efficiently, right? We also provide training to the staff, right? So you can deliver, uh, you know, better customer experience. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you go, when you book a hotel, right? Price aside, the only things that you look for is typically the pictures and the reviews, right? And That's reviews yeah. play a very important role. Yeah. So we, in, we need to make sure that the customers enjoy staying in Oyo, like it, and gives a good rating, and, it, and they come back again, right? And also that will lead to word of mouth and uh, additional customers coming in based on the reviews, right? right. Um, we also have a, a proprietary pricing algorithm, yeah. right? So basically, we will ensure that the rooms get filled up at a very affordable rates. Um, and also, obviously, we hire a dedicated team of, uh, you know, oil captains, we call them, right? So what these oil captains do, like I said, we, it's a franchise model, so we don't uh, run the day, day to operations, but uh -huh. oil captains will go there to audit the properties on a periodic basis to make sure that um, the promises, uh, the oil call promises is actually adhered to by uh, the hotel property, right? There, there will come a point in time when you have saturated a particular market. Mm. I mean, we are not having infinite number of budget hotels, mm. um, and the, the rule of the game is to hire as much partners as you can, then what? Do you move on to a new market, or is there anything else you can do? Uh, so I think we're far from that right now. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm, far from I'm that right now. I'm seeing everywhere. Oh, it's yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, far from that. You'd be surprised. From PJ to Mercy, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but there's still a lot more budget hotels. We're just scratching the surface. No way. Yeah, trust me, that's a lot. Hence, there's a lot of competition in the market right now. So what would be some of the competitions that you face? Similar budget hotel chains? Also, I mean, there's a lot of competition within the budget hotel space. Okay. Right? That's why everybody is, you know, the pie is this big, but everybody is scrambling for the same pie, right? Yeah. So hence, they need... Uh, so... Yes, that's right. So, so, so from business model aspect, yeah. you know, people talk about, oh, scalability, yeah. you know, uh, ASEAN, 670 million people, yeah. all that, right? And I think all that is rubbish because at the end of the day, if you execute poorly, that's... It's just statistics, right? Correct, correct. Uh, uh, and right now, the thing about hospitality, just like any, any other service, is that you win on consistency. Correct. You don't win on just, you know, marketing. Yes. Because you might, you might get it once. Correct. But then if it fails, that's it. Correct. You're running away with these people. Correct. How do you manage that growth from your, if I use your words just now, business development team trying to sign on more partners mm -hmm. and more franchisees, versus the people, the OU captains that you use that man manage that service uh, hospitality level, how do you balance the two? Mm -hmm. Is one more important than the other? So both are equally important, right? So one is help, you know, improving the supply, the yeah. number of hotels that sign up with us. And the other ones is, you know, helping to make sure that all the hotel partners that we sign up are main maintaining the service quality standards that our guests uh, expect from us, right? Mm. Because if you see, right, if we sign them up and the quality is not maintained, it will affect the revenue, right? And they won't be happy with it and they also leave, right? So that's, that's the balance we always try, right? So these guys would be the, I would call them like the hunters mm. and these guys are the farmers, right? The operations team. Yeah. So once you bring the, the hunt in, you need to farm it, improve it, grow the business. Let's talk about the um, technology side of OYO. Um, yeah. You have alluded to it a few times that the algorithm is proprietary, it yeah. runs on the app, it makes uh, sure that the pricing is dynamic. Correct. Um, is there some thing that you can share with us into what makes the algorithm, I guess, work for you guys? Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. that you can share with the public? Uh, not the inner workings, of course, and I, I don't even know the inner workings as well. I'm right? sure yeah. some scientists somewhere, yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So we have a team of 1,200 engineers globally working on this, uh, uh, all the technology platforms as well as the pricing algorithm, right? And like any algorithm, the more they learn, right, it gets better, right? So we have mm. five years of learnings, mm. right? Uh, not just in Malaysia, across all the markets, right? It helps on continue, continues improving the pricing algorithm. It's like a machine learning, right? Mm. Uh, we also take into account, so you see, hospitality is very localized, right? What I mean is, uh, a pricing algorithm, in, in, for example, in China may not work here, right? Uh, you need I to agree. tailor it, because you need to tailor it based on seasonality, yeah. school holidays, public holidays, everything, right? Tourist arrivals, yeah. right? And so we, we, when we come in, we also put 
that learnings in there to make sure that the pricing algorithm learns from it, right? We localize it based uh, for our particular markets. Okay, and what about people or guests that uh, rent rooms outside of the OU app or OU network? How does that work for you guys? Oh, it's the same thing. So our pricing algorithm also, uh, also powers up the listings on the OTA. Okay, the online correct. So the pricing, correct. All the agencies. Correct, correct. So it can be Agoda, it can be Booking.com, Hotel.com, yes. whatever, Trivago. Correct. Right. And therefore, the price remains consistent across consistent all Consistent across, these. yes. I can't test this one because I only went to one particular <laughs> site uh, when, when, when I wanted to go to Mersing. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I got to tell you that um, while there were a lot of other options there, uh -huh. while I was there, yeah. um, I decided to go to Oyo because I sort of equated the OYO near my house in Kota Damansara with the oh, one okay. in Mersing. And whether yeah. or not, oh, okay, I guess it's going to be the same. Yeah. Um, consumer feedback, it's not the same, it's right. different. Apparently, OYO in Kota Damansara is, you know, slightly better than the one in Mersing. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some level of basic requirements that were met, and yeah. therefore, I was okay with the whole thing. I yeah. was, of course, going for the budget hotel because I wanted to jump the ferry, right? I, right. Wasn't, I wasn't looking for a five-star anyway. Correct. So, this type of consumers that you have, mm -hmm. there might not be a lot of people like me, mm -hmm. but you're getting some new market mm -hmm. in, in and everywhere you go. Correct. So how do you classify your market here in Malaysia? Do you, what kind of market segmentation do you, do you hold uh, fast in terms of um, providing some marketing strategy yeah. uh, for your plan? Good question. So if you look across our markets, right, you have a combination of uh, business travelers, so I'm not talking about business travelers from MNCs, right? Typically, they are your SMEs, right? Yeah, yeah. Salesmen, right? Uh, technicians. Uh, we also have real estate agents, insurance agents, right? Those segment, uh, they always look at budget hotels, yes. right? We also have families, quite a number of them, uh, and also young adults, right? So typically, these are the three key segments that we have. And you see, right, the trend is moving towards more affordable uh, accommodation. Yeah. Look like how travel is, right? Flight. Flights, right? At yeah, airlines yeah. and all, right? Yeah. People want to save on uh, you know accommodation and flights and spend more on you know your shopping. Yeah. And your, and your While sizing. you are at the destination, but Correct. just to get there, it's Correct. not it's not necessarily an important kind Correct. of Correct. Correct. thing. Correct. Yes. Okay, it's fantastic. Is yeah. that kind of market segment big enough for you to I guess get money out of in terms of uh, competition that is within the space? It's huge, right? Because this are the mar the mass market segment. Mm. Right, so the premium segment is always a niche, right? Yeah, but it's narrow. That's it's narrow, thing. yes, correct. Obviously, spending power there is higher. But narrow. Narrow, but yeah. ours is more of a volume game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll discuss a little bit more about Oyo um, uh, with the marketing director or marketing country manager here, uh, Ming. Uh, don't go anywhere. Thanks for staying on with us. I'm with Ming of Oyo. Uh, Ming, I just want to understand how this company of yours, or company that you are with right now, can actually contribute towards the nation, uh, I guess, national growth, um, mm -hmm. employment opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, Malaysia is moving towards a visit Malaysia year 2020. How does all this add up into the aspirations of the country with that of a business or profit-seeking entity like yourself? So I think firstly we contributed in terms of uh, you know employment, right? So Oyo itself in Malaysia, we have hired six hundred people, and that's growing as well. Six hundred uh, people. Yeah. Wow. So we have a staff uh, headcount across the thirteen states of uh, you know six hundred people right now, strong, and it's still growing. Um, indirect job opportunities. Um, so see, we work with vendors to help transform the property. So that also contributes to the economy and also the creation of jobs. Um, so equipping the skills of the hospitality industry, right? So a lot of these budget hotel staff, they're not trained, uh, you know, the best practices of hospitality. So we bring that to them. Um, so I would say, and also, you know, when they improve, the incomes improve, uh, the budget hotel incomes improve, that also contributes uh, to the society and to the nation as a whole. It also changes the perception of how budget hotels are serving the market. Yeah. Do you think that in your little I guess, uh, contribution to this, does it help change perception on budget hotels, I guess, uh, level of service for the market? Yeah, it does, it does. So I think um, you see that, right? I mean, like I told you, since, I mean, uh, hotels on border with us, they yeah. see occupancy increase, yeah. you know, by 65 to 75%, right? 
um, that shows that you know there's a lot of demand right for you know all your all your branded hotels right which are predominantly budget hotels yeah so yeah. the market is slowly accepting that okay it's no longer like whatever perception that they have in their mind yeah but it's something different yes correct uh, we, and so far since we came you know into the market 18 months really we served 755,000 guests so far and every 755,000 correct and every uh, so an oil room is booked every 11 seconds right now in Malaysia okay. and that's growing uh, when did you arrive in Malaysia? So we arrived. Uh, so we arrived back in two thousand and eighteen, early two thousand eighteen. All right, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, in in a span of I don't know eighteen months thereof, yeah. you got ten thousand bids. Correct, correct. It's how did you do that? Uh, it's just we had a great team, right? You have a great team that right. helped. And a great team and a great product, right? I think that's the and we show is, results. Is there any other competition? exactly like yourself that might come in and do this whole budget hotel franchise? So I think uh, in terms of competition, we see ourselves uh, as our own competition. Yeah. Right? Uh, so with that, that gives us laser focus on our own goals and objectives. Mm. Uh, we don't focus too much on our competition. That uh, distract us from our goals. As you've seen, we have a very strong growth trajectory mm. and it's still growing, right? So it's all based on how well we perform. Okay. And uh, is the still privately held or is it publicly listed? What's the story here? Uh, not uh, still privately held. Uh, obviously backed by a couple of VCs. Yeah. Right, like SoftBank, uh, Grab and a couple more. So in, when that happens, would Malaysia be counted as one of the key markets that uh, is a success story or? It is, it is. So right now, Malaysia is a key market. Okay. It is a very key market for them. In terms of, all, so if you exclude China and India, of course, the two biggest markets. Yeah. We we are like the you know top three biggest markets, uh, excluding China and India right now. No, that's like number three after China and India. Correct. Correct. Wow. Oh, number f number f uh, so top five. We're top five right now. Oh, top five. Yes. Okay, with China and India there. Correct. So what are the two or three other markets that are within the top five? So the biggest one right now in Southeast Asia would be obviously Indonesia, due to its uh, scale and size. Mm. Yeah. And uh, slowly, the rest of the markets are picking up as well. Okay. Yeah. So the focus is still very much Asia-centric instead Correct. of somewhere else. Correct. And the reason is because why? Population high or something else? Population high, strong demand for the product, uh, and there's, there's a lot of uh, you know, supply of budget hotels in this segment, okay. in this region here. All right. I wish you all the best. Not that Thank you need it because you signed up 10,000 bids in like how many months? Yeah, <laughs> you always need that. Okay. Uh, that was my conversation uh, with Ming from Oyo. He's the country manager there. Um, if you've missed any part of this interview, just head on to astronomy.com. Look for Notepad. Also, if you've missed any part of this interview, just head on to astronomy.com uh, and download the application uh, on your mobile devices. Uh, just get it for whenever you get your application. Uh, that's it from me for this particular episode. Until next time, thank you and goodbye. Cheers, man. Thanks, 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 thanks sir. Thanks.